you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala Lures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life. This week on Midwest Outdoors, Thunderhook Walleye in Ontario's Wabakini Provincial Park. Big water action from Arneson's Rocky Point on Lake of the Woods. And bass from El Salto in Mexico. It all starts right here, right now. the first fish of the day. Good afternoon, folks. Drake Dill for Thunderhook Fly-Ins, Midwest Outdoors. It's a beauty of a day. We're fishing up north, Wabakimi Park, Shabascoya Lake. And it's August 20th, and this is the first fish. And the fish up here are getting so big, I can't bring them over the side of the boat, so I'm gonna grab them just like this. Now, how is that for a walleye up in Wabakimi Provincial Park? That's average size there. Let's measure him up. He should be between 21 and 23 inches. 20 inches. We'll let him go. We'll have a bigger one shortly. Oh, beautiful walleye. We're 200 miles north of any civilization. And you come up here with me on a fly-in trip. We've got every amenity under the sun and the fish bite. Now I'm trying to think what could possibly get better than that? And this is real. This fish is so big, I've got to net it. Look at the size of that walleye. And I'm a one-man show here today. Folks, that's a trophy walleye. Give me a call. I'll set you up with one of these trips. We'll put fish in your boat, fish in your frying pan, and you're going to have a great time. And the best part about this is, look at out on the lake. It's just me out here. You can have it all to yourself. Here's our presentation today, midsummer. Got a smaller leech using six pound test Berkeley triline line, a quarter ounce lead head chartreuse jig, and a leech. I'm just gonna hook this guy up right here, give him one more shot. We're ready to go. Another beautiful walleye. That is what we come all the way up here for. Fly in on an airplane and bring him right in. Folks, that is the perfect eating fish right there. They don't need to be any bigger, and this is also the perfect size to take uh, from the lake. So we're gonna save him since we're gonna have a shore lunch here. When you're coming up here, my number one goal is to take the guesswork out all these trips. There's nothing magical about this spot other than for some reason the fish relate to this reef in the lake, and the fishing here is fantastic. When you come up on one of these trips, you don't have to worry about guides and uh, catching fish and will they bite or why do they bite. The fish just bite. It's that simple. This particular lake we're fishing on, Shabascoya, we have two outpost camps on it. It's 10,000 acres and you have it all to yourself. So imagine coming to a fly-in lake with warm insulated cabins, first class, flush toilets, 110 plug-ins for electricity all the ice you can use, new 16-foot boats and motors, walk-through seats, swivel seats, all the gas you can use, and all the fish you can possibly catch are right here in the lake. And we'll show you how it's done again. Now look at this. Wow. Get him in the net. We don't want to lose him. This is what an Ontario fly-in is all about. Right there, that's a stock fish up in this lake. We've caught dozens of them today. We're gonna get him back in the water. If you think you wanna give this a try, look me up on the web at www.thunderhook.com. 
All of our info is on there. Our packages, which typically run four to eight days, you can add extra days or come for three or five days if you like. We've got an email contact form there and of course our phone number. If you want to give me a call, we love to talk about fishing and getting you on the walleyes just like this. Another one to go back. Here's another walleye. almost netted him. Another thing about these wilderness trips that I provide is you're in a provincial park. This is a three million acre provincial park that we're in today, the Wabakimi Provincial Park. And we have exclusive access to our lakes here in the park. When you come on a fly in with me, the lake isn't logged to within a half mile of the lake. It's pristine wilderness. It's all virgin ground and it always will be that way. It's preserved. Well that was a great day of fishing. We're headed home now. We're gonna fly back, have a great walleye fish fry for dinner and hit the lake again for some great walleye action tomorrow. If you're interested in any of our trips or packages, there's the best way to find us is www.thunderhook.com. All of our infos there, our phone number, our email, our contact form, etc., and more info on a great Canadian fly-in fishing trip. I'm Drake Dill for Thunderhook Fly-Ins in Midwest Outdoors. Stay tuned. Closed captioning of Midwest Outdoors, sponsored by Midwest Outdoors Magazine, on your newsstand now, and the all-new MidwestOutdoors.com, loaded with video, articles, and TV episodes. If you want to turn this into this, then you need the Skins It, the fish skinner on steroids. Skins It is the quickest, easiest way to remove the rib bones and skin while getting the most meat from your filet with zero waste. It's fast, fun, easy to use, and safe. The Skins It is a perfect gift for the fishermen in your life. How fast can you Skins It? Order now at fishskinner.com. Come fish the famous waters on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world. Choose from over 50 full service resorts with options for charter fishing, guide service, and full meal plans, or plan a trip and relax in the vast wilderness scenery. From the Northwest Angle to the South Shore, Rainy River and Bonnet. The Midwest's number one fishing destination offers four seasons of world-class fishing. Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, best fish in anywhere. Call 1-800-382-FISH or log on to lakeofthewoodsmn.com. I didn't take long. No. Just a couple of minutes in. I'm Roger Cormier with my good friend Mark Arneson. Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, Lake of the Woods, Minnesota. Fantastic walleyes and saugers up here. We're doing some late summer trolling. We're fishing out of one of Arneson's charter boats today. This is a great opportunity for a group of guys, group of uh, family, a lot of kids to get together, six anglers in the boat, and do some trolling. We're gonna talk about using rapalus to catch walleyes and saugers on Lake of the Woods and talk about a great summer fishing destination, Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, in Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. How big? Need the net. All right, I can do that. Staying down. That's so always a sign of a bigger one, huh? Yeah, it's staying down when it's taking drag. And that's on the scatter wrap. This is a good average size. You know, we got that slot on the lake, 19 and a half to 28 inches. Anything in between that, the walleyes have to be immediately released. That's just about in that, too. Yeah. Good fish to start us out, Mark. Number seven scatter wrap, right in the corner of the mouth. That's a beauty there. Put that one on the measuring stick. 23. Beauty. Well, hopefully we get a few smaller ones to eat in the Rock Harbor Lodge tonight, but that's not a bad fish to start us out. Nice Minnesota walleye. Bigger fish, huh? Yeah, it feels like this one might make the box. 
We've been catching a number of little shakers, this little peanuts. You always got to watch the rods. If you're not running them in your hand, you won't feel that strike, and they're on the rigger, and the smaller fish won't trigger that downrigger. Ready? Yep. Oh, Danny. Danny fish. I'll get us back in gear, right. then. Probably measure that one. She'll be, what, 19? This one? Yeah. You want a bumper? Let's see. 19. Perfect eater. We're having those in the Rock Harbor Lodge tonight. Mark, why don't you talk about the lodge and the dining there? Yeah, we have a beautiful restaurant and lounge up at the resort, the Res Rock Harbor Lodge. Serves a full breakfast in the morning, uh, open at noon for burgers and stuff, and then the evening's open for anything from fresh walleye that you bring in to prime rib and ribeyes to burgers. I mean, it's just a beautiful place to come in, enjoy a cocktail or it's a little appetizer or a full meal after a hard day fishing, then just wake up and do it all over again in the morning. Bigger fish. Just loaded the rod staying down. I started to come up a little bit. We got so many strong year classes represented up here. You know, catch them all different sizes. Let lots of them go. Take some photos of the bigger ones. Keep a few to eat. You always go home happy fishing up here on Lake of the Woods. You're running the other way. Wow, nice size walleye, wow. Beautiful. Well, while you take care of this, I will get the boat. Sounds good, I got him. Wow, look at this one. He just got that thing just right in his face. Oof, look at that. You know, Lake of the Woods is probably Minnesota's best lake if you want a chance at a 10-pound walleye. The other thing you always catch are lots of them in this mid-20 range. Beauty. We're having most of our luck on number seven shad wraps and the X-wrap shads and also the new scatter wrap shads. They come in a five and a seven size. And again, brighter colors, these UV colors seem to be triggering a lot of bites, as do the whites. Now the difference between the scatter wrap shad, the shad wrap, and the X-wrap shad is shad wrap and scatter wrap shad are balsa baits. So when you pause the boat or if Mark turns the boat, they float up in the water column. The X-wrap shad is more like a jerk bait when you pause it in the water, it freezes and holds there. There are days when you'll catch more fish on the X-Wrap shads with that pause in the water where it hovers in the water column and stays in the strike zone longer. Remember to experiment with the different sizes and colors of those lures to put more fish in the box. You think that walleye wanted that scatter wrap? Get you on. It's gonna spool us. Backing down on her. We're gonna back down back on her. Back down on her. Man, this is dead weight here. Holy cow. I guess it's gonna be our biggest fish of the day here. We went over a couple real big marks and the one rod just popped and the fish started taking line right away. Nice size. Yeah. There we go. Woohoo. I'll get her back in gear. And... Okay. Look at that. Well, another great day of fishing out here, huh? Yeah, it was just beautiful. We had a lot of fun, caught a lot of fish today, a lot of let a lot go, and we're gonna have a few for dinner tonight. That's an example of the quality you can get up here in Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. Mark, if folks want to fish Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, how do they reach you? Well, you can give us a call at 1-800-535-7585 or look us up on the web. Get your trip planned to Arneson's, folks. Have some fun in Minnesota fishing walleyes and saugers. With my good friend Mark Arneson, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Get lost in the majestic beauty of northwestern Ontario with Ghost River Lodges. Why fly? Ghost River Lodges offer remoteness without flying. Exclusive access to 15 remote lakes. Experience fantastic walleye and northern pike fishing in the heart of the Canadian wilderness. You never have to fish the same lake twice. The Ghost River adventure is defined by excellent fishing, scenery, wildlife, and hospitality. Visit GhostRiverLodges.com or call toll-free 888-GHOST-RIVER. 
for anglers who want it all. The new HDS-3, a revolutionary step forward in simultaneous chirp sonar and structure scan HD sonar imaging, clearer views, faster interface, multi-touch screen, keypad operation, and total boat control. Plus, with versatile networking and go-free wireless sync of maps, software, and apps, HDS-3 is the ultimate fish finding system. Wow. Find, navigate, dominate with Lowrance. There, there's a fish. There we go. You know, I'm a firm believer in cherishing the moments that you got on the water. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski, and this is one I'm cherishing right now. I'm in El Salto, Mexico. I get the pleasure of fishing with Kevin Malone of Abu Garcia Fishing today, and we got a double header just That's to right. start off the morning. Not a bad way to start. <laughs> Not a bad way at all. But man, we've got beautiful scenery, a beautiful day. We got sunshine, some clouds, a little bit of rain coming as well. And we're gonna talk about how we're fishing. El Salto is known for its trophy largemouth bass. And Kevin's also gonna explain a little bit about some of the equipment we're using today. And let's go catch some giants. Huh? All right. All right. Man, these rods cast a mile. They do, don't they? <laughs> now these are brand new, right? Yeah, so this is the uh, new Veritas 2.0. Uh, we're really excited about these. Not only are they the, uh, the rods that everybody's come to expect to be really lightweight uh, and really sensitive, we've made some pretty significant <laughs> improvements that uh, we're pretty excited about. Uh, we've got our new spiral carbon core construction, uh, which has improved the brake strength 22%. Uh, and uh, that also gives the tip strength about a 30% improvement. We've also got uh, this new micro-click uh, ratcheting hood on the reel seat, so that gives you a, a lot better uh, lockdown. Um, you can hear, you know, when you tighten the reel down, you can actually hear it click, and it gives you a really firm. I uh, really like reel that seat. feature because yeah. you know it makes you, it makes you almost think that you're all right. You're wrenching it down because you, right. you got that little click to it. And then what about the various models in the series? Yeah, so we've got a, a pretty big assortment, uh, and we've got some new models in, in the family. Uh, we've got you know your regular casting and spinning models, and then we've also got some new winch. Uh, models and also a frog series. So you've got that uh, seven six medium heavy, uh, and it's got just the right tip for casting one of those, those frogs and uh, walking them across the lee pads. Double. <laughs> Can't believe the doubles. I mean, it's it's almost common, you know. <laughs> it's what you get when you get down to El Salto. All right, that's what, four casts in a row? Say hello. Yeah, so this 7-Eleven winch really makes uh, throwing these big crankbaits. Uh, you can really bomb it out there and get these crankbaits down deep. And, um, you know, we've done some pretty significant field testing with this model um, and gotten a lot of feedback from pros, so we feel like it's really tuned just right for this, these uh, big crankbaits. Yeah, I would imagine, because you got a real flexible tip, but a really nice strong backbone, too, to the rod for hook setting power. But as I mentioned before, whoa! <laughs> oh, man, did that hit hard. As I mentioned before, we're throwing these a long way. There's a nicer fish there. Whoa. All the action is on that rod tip. See, the, the, just bam, 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 bam. And I'm just kind of holding it there, letting him do whatever he wants to and bring him right back. Yeah, but that flexible rod tip allows us to cast these lures way out there. You're actually casting past the structure and bringing the lure right across where the fish are hanging out. 
and there's there the go. result right there. Yeah, the winch series is really built around, uh, you know, that crankbait, and uh, that rod, the rod series is, is really optimized for all types of crankbaits, whether you're throwing square bills, you got the seven foot uh, medium, all the way up to that 7.11 extra heavy for throwing those really deep diving, you know, 20 foot plus crankbait. So there's something in there for all kind of crankbait fishing, and uh, it's really the action for making those long casts. Long cast past the hump, and then drag it right over the hump. And then as soon as I feel the bottom with the lure, there, now I stop. And you'll notice the rod tip is digging, 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 and then it stops and hits something. Right when that lure hits the bottom, so the action is dig, 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 stop. Dig, 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 stop. And right when the stop action comes, that fish just inhales it. Fish. And when you don't want them to jump, you gotta put your rod tip down in the water, basically. And you pull when, they get, when they're getting ready to. Yeah! All right, another good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I tell you what, there is nothing better than a morning of fishing at El Salto. Let me show you. Let me show you what a morning of El Salto fishing looks like. Right there, buddy. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go in, have a little lunch, maybe take a little siesta, and then we're gonna come back out on the water, mix it up, do something different. I wanna thank Kevin Malone for joining me from Abu Garcia Fishing, as well as Antonio, our guide from Anglers International. I'm Larry Ladowski, and stay tuned. We'll catch you later. Welcome to Leech Lake in Walker, Minnesota, your world-class fishing destination with a small town feel. Walleye, bass, pike, and panfish swim in our waters, and our friendly community will warm your heart. Leech Lake has 195 miles of shoreline and some of the best family-oriented fun in northern Minnesota. We have a bustling downtown and over 30 resorts and hotels in the area, so bring your family and your friends. Hiking, biking, fishing, shopping, and more await you at Leech Lake. Start planning your trip at leechlake.org. The revolutionary G-Pass Anchor and Boat Stabilizer attaches to your anchor line in seconds and reduces wave force on the boat, anchor, and passengers by 75%. Keep your boat where you want it, prevent anchor drag, and protect sensitive underwater environments. The new G-Pass Drift Sock model stabilizes boat speed for better boat control while drifting. The G-Pass Anchor and Boat Stabilizer. We can't stop the waves, we tame them. Order yours today at gpass.com. love these smallies on this lake. You know, everyone wants to catch bigger and more fish. And now, there's one resource that can help you, and that's Fishity. It's available on your mobile phone or at fishity.com. It gives you access to thousands of lake maps that give you proven fishing hotspots, as well as lake profiles, a detailed fishing forecaster that can help you develop a game plan for your day on the water, plus many other tools, including digital logging, social sharing, and a weekly contest. Check it out, fishity.com. I'm Brian Jensen, Fishity, and this is your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Closed captioning of Midwest Outdoors, sponsored by Midwest Outdoors Magazine, on your newsstand now, and the all-new MidwestOutdoors.com, loaded with video, articles, and TV episodes.